Hey there, thank you for watching. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kathy Sanders. I'm a surf fishing guide in the Flagler Beach, Florida area. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. We're doing underwater videos just like this one. And I also record my surf fishing adventures to bring you educational and also entertaining content every single week. So in this video, I am at New Smyrna Beach, Florida. And we were trying to get into some cleaner waters. So the water we're seeing here is clearer than it was at the other location. But as you're going to see in this video, there was quite a bit of seaweed. I was having trouble with my Go Fish Cam. We had to take the float off of it. So you'll see it kind of bobbing around and moving. It's probably good because the seaweed would have gotten caught up even more on the float than just on the camera itself. But we're going to come up on our first fish here. As you can see, just went past the screen. We're going to slow that down again for you. Uh, this is called Omohara. As you can see on the screen there, he's going to go right past. They have a very distinct looking mouth. And you can see that on the picture that I put there, the identifying picture. They're going to keep coming back around. And here we come. It seems like when the tide pushes that sand up we either see fish leaving the screen or coming into it and over there you see what just passed the screen now I'm having trouble identifying this fish it's got a very bright tail uh, it does not look like fish that I'm used to seeing we have another one that just went past the screen and I blew this up a little bit so you can see what it looks like and I have a still shot here as close as that's the best I could get of it very long body very distinct mouth it's not a blue runner if you can help me figure out what that fish is that would be awesome leave a comment below there's another Mohara just came across the screen and keep your eye on the bottom left there we're gonna slow that down look at him coming right out through that sand definitely another Mohara take a look at this guy steals the bait right off of the hook I actually had salted shrimp on there, which is tougher. It stays on the hook better. We're going to slow that down. Look at his mouth. Their mouth actually comes down and protrudes out. But you can see he grabs that right off of the hook. So sometimes you've got this bait that you put out there and you, you bring it in and it's got no bait left on it. Could be one of these guys. Could be one of these Mohara, just stealing the bait off. And he's coming back for the fish bites. So these fish are hungry. And I, I love how their mouth comes down and just kind of like juts out from their face. That's one way you can tell that it's a Mohara. So next up, we have what they call a speckled crab. We have quite a few of them. And I put pictures up on the screen so you can see these identifying pictures for these these different creatures and fish. So yeah, he's having a good old time. Uh, just recorded a podcast with Brian Demo that will be coming out soon. But we talked about how when you're bringing your floats in, your, your rigs up and your floats have all the puncture holes in them, it's not a fish. That's one of these crabs. And so here's proof that these guys will grab your floats, they'll grab he doesn't get it off the hook, but he's really working on that fish bite. And now he's moving to the back. So it's hard, a little bit hard to see him through all of that sand, but he's, he's back there. He's still there working on that fish bite, trying to get the other bait off. And here goes another fish going right past another Mohara. And this crab's just still working away on that bait. So it, it goes to show you the longer that you have your bait sitting out there, I just tend to leave this camera out there because I just want to see what is happening. So if, it, if I get a fish hooked up on it, of course I'm going to reel it in. But other than that, I tend to leave it out there so we can capture what's really happening. And so Mr. Crab walks away. And now take a look here. We've got another Mohara. He's just <laughs> bringing his face right in the screen, taking a look at what we have to offer. No, we don't have any more salted shrimp on you. He's, he keeps coming back, looking at the bait. Now we have Blue Runner coming across the screen. These seem to be going in pairs. 
I love this iridescence on their fins. Take a look at his fins. They look iridescent in that water. So cool. And we can tell that that is a blue runner. I'm going to put a picture up here. There's a still picture. And you can see uh, we've got the dark spots on the back of the tail, a little bit of a dark spot on the gill. And these blue runners are going to keep chasing each other and looking at the bait. There they are again, one and then the other. We're always going to see them in this pairs here. It's like, I know they swim in schools, but this couple of blue runners seem to be just hanging out together. So there goes one, and watch for the other one. Here he comes. They're just pecking at the bait a little bit. And then again, here he comes, pecking. It's like they're not really, really wanting to get it because it's not like I've packed that hook out. If they really wanted to eat that, they would be putting their mouth on it. They're just checking it out. Here we go. Another, that's one of those blue runners. And right through all that sand, he's still there, taking off. Another speckled crab coming in. And I'm going to speed this up because he stays around a while. He just keeps working away and working away at this bait. And he backs himself right into the camera, and I think it spooks him. Watch him here. He's all the way up to the camera, and then boom, he's gone. <laughs> I think he scared himself. There's another Mohara. It seems like whenever you see these speckled crabs, the Mohara are not too far away. Check out his mouth. Pulling right up onto that float. And we've got a tiny little crab. Hard to tell what species that is. It's, it's probably another speckled one, but we don't see the top of his shell, and then he's gone. So now I had drilled it back in, I rebaited, threw it back out there, and now we've got some real fun stuff coming. We've got another crab here, but what I want you to see is what happens after this crab gets done. He He's having a heyday with this. <laughs> they just keep coming back, these crabs. Now, as this water clears, look at how aggressive these pompano are. This footage is not sped up at all. This is real time how they are acting. And we're slowing this down here, so take a look. We've got both of them biting. One of them is hooked up in the back. He is aggressively shaking his head. He is really trying to get loose. And as you can see from that identifying picture there, that is Florida pompano. And I could have gotten doubled up that day if I was really paying attention, but somehow I keep missing any time these pompano get hooked up. But it's so quick, as you can see. It's super fast, and he shakes himself right off. And then they come back around, peck a little bit, and then the pompano are gone. We don't see them again. So now this crab comes back, um, or another crab. And these sneaky little crabs, we have not only one, but in a minute here, you can see two of them kind of dueling for this same bait. And here in a second, there it is, it's gone. They've stripped it right off. So I've rebaited now. You can see there's a fresh shrimp fish bite and I've sped all this up because I don't want to bore you with crabs for like three minutes long, just eating away at the bait. But they do the same thing. They stay on that until they have taken that whole fish bite off. And then you'll see here, he's leaving. And he actually left the, uh, the fish bite. And it could be because he saw something coming here. This is my favorite part of this whole video. Take a look at what's in the water here. Oh yeah, there is a whole school of mullet. And then we are talking, this was right at the beginning of August. This is at least a month earlier than I've expected to ever see mullet running in the surf. And not just any mullet, but look at how many there are. That was a whole big school of mullet. That is good news for us who are surf fishing to be able to see those mullet running in the surf. It was so awesome. But thank you so much for watching this underwater video. I'm planning to make a lot more like it. So if there's a beach or a place in Northeast Florida that you would like to see some underwater footage of, just drop something in the comments. Let me know and I'll try to get there. And as always, tight lines, God bless, and we'll see you.